Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki wishing you on this first day of the new season a happy spring. Now, maybe you live somewhere in the south or southwest, and this doesn't mean as much to you as it does to those of us who are up here in the north, in the upper Midwest. We've had some warm spring-like days already, but March is an odd month up here. While we enjoy the spring-like days when they come, we sort of keep looking back over our shoulders for winter to strike again with snow and cold. You know, one last blast. But the great thing is that we know it won't last. Winter's over. The same is true for the bigger realities of sin and death. As we begin spring and prepare ourselves for the coming celebration of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus, we know that winter is over. The dark days of sin are being overcome by Christ, who is the light of the world, the sun, the son of God, that is, who shines forever. The cold days of the reign of evil are being warmed by the heart of Jesus, all on fire with love for the human race, a love that led him to become one of us and to die for us. Oh, the darkness is still present in our world and hearts are still cold and frozen, but these are last gasps. The resurrection of Jesus has promised us an eternal spring. As you go through these final days of Lent, think about that. Nature's spring is a time of renewed life, and Lent, the church's spring, is a time for renewed life as well, the renewal that leads to the eternal spring of heaven. Jesus has shown us the way. Let's follow.